when it comes to money, we were actually surprised to find there were very few gender differences um, between you know, men and women and how they handle money. Like men and women are equally likely to be spenders or savers for example, mm -hmm. um, but it turns out there is something that was a very clear gender difference with most, not all, but most men and women, which is that we tend to have two different sets of fears and insecurities running underneath the surface about money and how we handle things. And the easiest way of explaining it is that for men, most men are instinctively, subconsciously always wondering Am I going to be able to provide for the family? How am I going to be able to provide? Like there, there's a, a fear that I may not be, I may not be enough for that. And so it's sort of like staying away from the edge of a cliff. Like you try to back away, you know? And so a guy would try to work a lot of hours, right? Or take a lot of overtime, like anything to stay away from that edge and not realizing that for women, it's a different set of primary kind of instinctive fears. Yeah, I might be thinking about money too, but really what feels worse to me is, oh my gosh, he's working so many hours and he's distant and he's not seeing the kids' soccer games. And so that's my cliff, my feeling like, are we okay as a family? Are the kids feeling loved? Are we okay in our marriage? And so to stay away from that cliff's edge, we wanna do things together. And we wanna go to the movie, or we wanna go out to eat, or we wanna go do stuff, and hey, guess what? That often costs money, which pulls him closer to the edge of his cliff. And so we don't realize that our efforts to sort of stay away from what's making us afraid often makes our partner's fears worse. And it makes so much difference if we'll just go, wait, you mean, really? Like. Jeff, you really honestly wonder how you're gonna be able to provide for the family and whether you're enough, like, that's a thing, for real? And honoring that, and for him going, really? Like, just because we're having arguments over this, or you're really worried about us and our relationship, and like, that's a thing? And so recognizing this is the insecurity, the doubt that's running under the surface, and I can reassure my spouse in this area and recognize how I'm triggering it with how I'm handling money.